My name is Adam Flowers. I'm a lead solutions architect with American Red Cross. Uh, I've been at American Red Cross for almost two years, or a little over two years. Uh, at the American Red Cross, we perform lots of functions across the organization, uh, but we mainly are a humanitarian uh, uh, organization that provides services to those in need. So when we first came to the American Red Cross, we came with a common goal. Um, we uh, wanted to uh, set up a virtual environment, what we call the virtual workplace, uh, where we can deliver uh, virtual apps, virtual desktops to end users, so it'll work on any device, anywhere, uh, anytime. Uh, previous installations or, uh, or uh, deployments that we have done, we knew that printing could be a challenge, so we wanted to kind of foreshadow a little bit and um, avoid some of the pitfalls that we had experienced in the past and go ahead and find a solution that would work with our environment and for our end users. What we wanted to do when we were looking at all the print vendors that kind of uh, fell into the category, uh, we wanted to you know, come up with what our needs were <clears throat> and then move forward in selecting the product. So we listed all, all of our needs, uh, and then we could kind of tally off uh, what print vendors, what solutions would work for us. Uh, in the end, it, it really was a, a clear front runner for us with Uniprint uh, and the services that they can provide, the solution that they can provide uh, with our initial deployment um, of uh, printing from a virtual environment. After deploying Uniprint uh, in our environment, along with our virtual workplace solution, we're able, we were able to avoid uh, a lot of the pitfalls that we have seen previously and avoid um, uh, any distress on our end users. We want to make it a seamless uh, environment uh, uh, for them uh, so they couldn't really tell the difference if they were in a virtual environment or a, a, a local localized uh, environment. And with Uniprint, we were able to accomplish those goals. We were able to uh, ensure that there was a seamless experience for the end users uh, with minimal, minimal uh, back-end uh, effort on our engineers and our team to, to, to maintain the environment. Uniprint fits in our environment very well right now. Uh, along with all of the other uh, vendors that we use to compile the virtual workplace solution, uh, it seems like it's a seamless uh, integration across the platforms. Uh, we've had uh, you know, great experiences in our virtual environment and we're also looking for Uniprint to assist us in uh, solving some of our other issues that we have in our physical environment around uh, print management uh, and um, uh, print object self-service uh, capabilities that we want to uh, utilize. Overall experience dealing with Uniprint has been very positive for us, both from the implementation standpoint, uh, the customer service uh, standpoint, uh, and uh, assistance when we need uh, to do perform upgrades or troubleshoot uh, any little issue that we may have. Um, a uh, couple good um, uh, scenarios we were in, we are looking for new features uh, after the deployment. We are looking for uh, uh, to see if the Uniprint solution can help us out or assist with other uh, needs that we had. And uh, the, Uniprint team was a, the, the Uniprint team was very adaptive uh, in assisting us uh, with our needs. In my mind, the Uniprint features that stand out the most uh, for, for our end users uh, are the single print queue. Uh, the universal print driver and the ability uh, to be dynamic uh, based on the situation that the end user is in, uh, whether it's uh, printing from a virtual app or printing from a virtual desktop or whether they're on site or off network, uh, we can deliver printers, we can deliver print objects and really allow printer, uh, users to print uh, wherever they're at. 